again YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If you're joining me for the first time, welcome. This is Big Lad Biking, where we're looking today at the boots that I've bought and the boots that I use uh, on my XT1200 Yamaha Super Tenere called Tay Tay. Um, I'm not a small lad. If you go back and look at some of my other videos, you'll see me. I'm not small, I'm six foot two, the wrong side of two heavy and i've got stupidly big calves so getting a pair of adventure type boots to fit my stupidly big legs uh, i used to play rugby used to ride horses do weightlifting. Uh, i've got abnormally large calves some would say um I've got 21 inch calves so getting a pair of high leg adventure type boots that's going to fit and not break the bank was always going to be a challenge so let's dive into the boots and again as I've done with other videos where I'm reviewing two things at a time I'm going to do them in chronological order of when I bought them so without further ado so the black adventure boot short from ghost bikes I believe it was about a hundred pounds I believe at the time of purchase which was before I did my direct access before that for my CBT I used a pair of um, lower LOWA army issue desert boots that are one of the best pair of boots I've ever bought um, I'll show you them in another short little video um, lace up boots not ideal for motorbikes but it did the job for the one day of the CBT and until I'd passed that I wasn't going to splash out on um, proper riding boots so these are the short uh, adventure boots from black which I believe if we can get that into the picture black I believe are exclusive to um, ghost bikes I've never been to their store um, I bought a few bits from ghost bikes online and it's always been very punctual uh, good prices kits always been good that I've bought from there I will take a trip up there when I get time and chance probably in the summer um, just to go and have a look round. but yeah if you're looking for stuff their returns policy is really good as well um, never had any problems sending bits back to them that didn't fit so yeah thumbs up to ghost bikes again this isn't a sponsored video these are my own boots that I bought myself so <clears throat> because we've got because we've got I don't know if you have I have because I've got thick calves these are low they come below the calf and they're ideal with my jeans. They fit snugly under the jeans. The jeans then don't ride up. And we'll review the jeans um, that we got from Bikers Paradise in a future video. But these fit really well. They're warm, they're comfortable. They're size 12. So size 12 UK, 46 Europe and 13 USA. And we've got a little bit of Reflectex material on the back, reflective material. They are waterproof. They've got an aluminium folding buckle and a plastic adjustable click strap to hold it in place. Give it that adventure boot feel. Not quite sure what this lump here is. Possibly just to stop the boot um, buckle getting knocked if you're going through scrub and brush because they are an adventure boot they've got quite a nice grip on them it sits quite comfortably on the uh, foot pegs of the bike and these are really comfortable to walk around in um, I've spent all day walking around in them had them on my feet all day yeah they're hot but everything's hot when you've got my feet inside you good solid velcro closure around the top and then inside 
just a nice breathable material. So the black short adventure boot from Ghost Bikes. Thumbs up. We've got a bit of ankle protection there and on the outside. Not much in the way of shin protection, but as I said, it doesn't come very high up the shin, so you don't really need that shin protection built into this type of boot. So that's those. Let's take a look at their big brother. So, same colour brown material, brown leather. I like the brown leather. I have put um, dubbing on these from Millet, just normal boot dubbing, waterproof boot dubbing. So, I don't know if you can see, you can still see a little bit of it around there. Just made them a touch more supple and obviously helped with the waterproofing. They are waterproof anyway. I have ridden both of these boots in the rain and yet yeah, no problems at all with rain coming in. So up to this point here, just above the ankle, identical to the short boot. This one has obviously got three buckles on it. and Velcro around the top and a nice wide opening with the internal gator coming about two thirds of the way up. Again, the same size, 12, 13, uh, 12 UK, 13 USA and 46 Europe. I take generally an 11 or 12 in shoes. So true to size fitment, I would say. Uh, you, I did get a couple of spare screws and buckles with this one, I believe. Um, God knows where they are, though. Um, again, we've got the same reinforced gear change pad. It's on both boots just to match. I know this is the right boot, so I'm not changing any gears with it. A thick um suede type wear pad on the outside of the shirt of the toe ankle protection heel protection it's quite firm on the back but we've got a nice stretch panel at the top up here there we go just here that's nice and comfortable you can see the dubbing around there a bit more on the inside nice and firm all the way down ankle protection again and on this one we have a plastic flexible, as in pinching, but bending is giving me a bit more impact protection from bushes, branches, whatever, if and when I ever get around to taking Tay Tay off road. So opening her up inside, we've got the same material inside here. No dirty socks, I'm pleased to say, as their shorter brother. These, I believe, were about 150 quid. Um, so 100 pound ish for the short boot, 150 for the long boot. Worn these all day, walked around in these all day. Um, apart from having hot feet, which any waterproof boot, you're going to get hot feet. They weren't overly sweaty. They weren't, the boots don't smell, which is nice. Um, and they were comfortable. Played crazy golf in these boots as well. Came second, didn't win. Um, yeah, again, it's black, although they're brown. Nice, good quality for the price. Yes, you can pay three, four, five, six, seven hundred pound for a pair of adventure boots, or you can go full on motocross boots and pay the same sort of thing. I'm not going to be doing masses of off road. Most of my riding is going to be on road and touring. So something that feels comfortable to wear, gives me the bit of protection, gives me the waterproofing, is ideal. And again. 
I mentioned it at the start, getting high boots like this to fit over my 21 inch calves is a problem. And these do, they've got stretch panel at the front, stretch panel at the back, and you can, I think it sits about there. So if you can just see a little bit of the Velcro showing, I have it on the rearmost adjuster. So there's two sections. That one makes it tighter. That one gives you a little bit more slack. And I've adjusted these buckle straps out a little bit. Still got a little bit of adjustment left in them. So haven't had to buy extra long straps. There's a couple of loose threads on the downside. Um, I'll be getting a lighter on them afterwards because I've only just noticed them. And aside from that, I'm really happy with the quality, with the build quality for the price. Remember, I bought these with my own money. I'm not a multi-millionaire yet. So paying, having two pairs of boots for less than one pair of top brand boots makes sense to me. I wear these on my ride to work. I wear these when I'm going on longer tours. Um, I'll probably wear, if I'm wearing my jeans, I wear the short ones. If I wear my uh, touring suit, I wear the longer ones. Uh, two pairs of boots for less than you'd pay for one pair of boots. I think it's good value for money. I can recommend um, both pairs of boots. Just noticed, and I literally just noticed as we're talking there, the small boot doesn't have the suede patch on the outside. I don't know why. I think it's quite a nice feature. It looks quite nice. But, yeah, that's them. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, quick look at the boots that I wear. I will, as I've said, get my desert boots out and show you them because I did a little alteration or uh, I made something to um, make wearing laced boots a little safer. So we'll look at that in another video. For now, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around to the end. Again, if you like what you've seen, do consider uh, subscribing to the channel. It helps. Share it with your friends if you think you know someone that's looking for a pair of boots and could do with an honest perspective of decent budget boots. So are these the best budget boots out there? They're the best budget boots for me because um, they fit and they didn't break the bank. So that's the summary. This is me saying thank you very much. Ride safe, live large, and we'll see you for the next video. Bye-bye.